Hey guys, and welcome to this video on the North Node in Sagittarius. If your North Node in astrology is in the sign of Sagittarius, this video is for you. I'm Cassandra, the Saffron Sage, helping you use astrology to evolve. And the North Node in Sagittarius, if you have this placement, you are here to develop your intuition and experience this quest for the truth. If you have this North Node, in your past lives, this means your South Node is in Gemini. So you had past lives and past life karma where you did Gemini type things, such as being a teacher or a salesperson. Basically, in a past life, you really had to understand where someone else was coming from. Think about a teacher. They have to speak to the level that their student is at. They cannot just start rattling away at information. They have to really have a clear understanding of the level of their student so they can teach that person. Think of a salesperson. They have to understand the mentality of the person they are selling to. They really have to get into that person's head and know their psychology so they can know the exact right thing to say. Because you have this as your south node, that means these energies for you are challenges. And they're challenges in the sense that it's an energy that you feel comfortable in, okay? You're already good at it. It's a gift from a past life, but it's not what you're here to learn because it's what you've already mastered. So that means you can end up falling into this trap with your south node in Gemini, where you revert, revert back to these energies. You revert back to always wanting to say the right thing. You might always get really hung up on getting afraid to even speak because you don't know if it's the right thing to say. You might get really hung up feeling uncomfortable in conversations because you want to go back and gather the facts because Gemini represents facts, factual information, whereas Sagittarius represents more higher personal perception, you know, truth from a sense of what the person perceives to be true and meaning, okay? So these two energies, although they both deal with information, knowing things and understanding things, they're on totally different levels. So because you had Gemini as your south node and you had these past life experiences where you had to understand other people so that you could present facts in a way that made sense to them, for you, the biggest challenge can be fear of speaking your own truth and really fear of saying the wrong thing. You may also find yourself being indecisive wanting to get more information before you make a decision or before you do something or before you take action. You might feel like this in conversations. I feel like the biggest challenge for the Sagittarius North Node is being able to speak up in a conversation and not censor themselves. So that's another challenge is feeling like you need to always censor yourself, feeling like you can only say part of what you need to say you may also get indecisive. You may start asking other people for advice because in past lives, you, you knew the answers. And in this life, it feels very uncomfortable to you not knowing things. Again, this all kind of goes back to wanting to know more, wanting to feel secure in what you know and having this sort of never ending story of no matter how much you know, it never really works. You never can know enough to feel totally confident. With this placement, you could also fall into the trap where you override your intuition with your logic. So rationalizing away things that feel right because it doesn't make sense rationally and then going against what your intuition told you. So let's get into the patterns to develop for this North Node. This North Node is here, number one, to develop your intuition and trust it. That is what you are here to do. So to develop that, number one is listening to your intuition, learning how to get quiet, learning how much peace and quiet and time away you need to access your intuition. Sometimes this can be 
going into nature. Sometimes it is creating a meditation schedule. It is about listening to your own inner voice. Now, even if you're not into meditation, you could still create that quiet space by journaling or just creating that time to yourself to contemplate because as the Sagittarius North Node, it is right for you to develop your own personal experience of the truth. Sagittarius uh, is often equated with traveling or wisdom, right? It is the teacher, the sage of the zodiac, but it also covers traveling and that's because it's about a perspective shift, right? Each thing, both studying, getting lost in spiritual knowledge, getting lost in philosophy and traveling to another country. For the Sagittarius, it's about expanding their reality, okay? Expanding their life experience to feel what it feels to be in another country, speak another language, um, read another esoteric text, understand that next great philosopher. This is all Sagittarius energy. Getting into Joseph Campbell, getting into myth, getting into spirituality, understanding Sagittarius, you know, even just in the Zodiac, Sagittarius would be the stories of the origins of all the different, you know, Zodiac signs and planets and everything. And that is typical, stereotypical Sagittarius energy. So you're here to experience all these kind of things, but for you, it's not about learning facts. That's your South node. It's about feeling the feeling it feels on the other side of that insight. You are also here to share your insight, your intuition inside of a conversation. Now for the Sagittarius North node, this can be hard because you can go back to revert back to, wait, I need to know all the answers. I can't talk about what I feel in this moment intuitively because what if I'm wrong? Okay, what if I say the wrong thing? What if it's not accurate? And so for the Sagittarius North Node, there's even more of a need here to be able to share, this is just what I feel about this. Oftentimes you will know in a conversation what to say, and it might be hard to uh, access that information or really articulate it when in conversation with others, because that feeling, like I need to be right, I need to say the right thing, can sort of get in the way here. You are here to trust what you feel and develop your own point of view from your own experience. And this is a tool you can use too as a Sagittarius North Node if you're wanting to build on your North Node, but that South Node pattern of needing to be right creeps in. You can step back and remember that your point of view is your point of view. And it's not about being right. It's not about knowing the right thing or you know making other people wrong. It's about developing your own point of view from your own experience and owning your point of view. Now you may share that point of view. You may not always share that point of view. That's not what really matters here. What matters more than anything is that you are able to feel what your own truth feels like. And depending on where you're at in your journey, don't feel bad. Okay, I say this in every North Node video. Don't feel bad if you feel like you're just a baby in this because you had possibly many, many lifetimes in that Gemini energy. So if you find as a Sagittarius North Node, that you are exploring, that you are learning, that you are expanding your own sense of truth, you are right on track. If you're finding that you are trying new things and doing new things and talking to people about what you feel, you are right on track. This does not mean go tell everyone how to live their lives. That is the preachy side of Sagittarius that annoys the hell out of people. But you are here to Honor, listen to, and trust your own intuition. The gift of the Sagittarius North Node that you learn in past lives where you lived out that Gemini energy is an understanding of how people think, an innate ability to teach. You can be an excellent teacher, even though this is partly your South Node. So you have to watch out because 
Generally speaking, Sagittarius North Node do really, really well teaching esoteric topics or philosophy or something more Sagittarian, where you get to layer in your profound insight or knowledge or experience, but don't do as well teaching boring everyday topics. So if you use that gift of teaching and you're finding whatever you teach is boring, just know that you can try layering in something with more meaning or that you might just enjoy. If you're a yoga teacher, you might enjoy teaching the meaning of the poses or you might enjoy teaching the chakras or going just one step beyond the obvious or the mundane. That's just one example. But the point here is that you have the gift of being able to teach and inspire in an inspiring way, okay? Not in a way like this means this and that means that, but in a way that the people you're teaching are lit up inside, okay? That is the gift of the Sagittarius North Node. So if you do choose to teach, it's important to focus on those higher truths. So that is it for my video on the Sagittarius North Node. Let me know in a comment below if you resonated or if you have more to add. I always love hearing from you guys. And make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell, do all the things. You can book a private reading with me in the comments below and join my Facebook group, Astrology and Alchemy, where I go live every week on the energy of the week. And I talk about alchemy and how to transmute using your chart in astrology. Okay, guys, that is all I got today, and I will see you all in the next video.